Hey guys and welcome to day 11 of the July Scrapathon event. If you have no clue what I am talking about, um, there's links to my intro video in the description below and there's also a link to a Facebook group you could join related to this event um, that has all the information in there in the pinned post as well. But if you don't want to join a Facebook group without knowing uh, what I am, what it is about, um, just go check my introductory video. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to tell you what the challenge is. And this one's called The Sketch. Because I feel like whenever there's an event with challenges or whenever I come up with challenges, there's always a sketch. So I just called it The Sketch. Um, but that's a bit too much information, I think, for you. So um, you don't need the backstory. I'm going to tell you what I have written down in my little logo thing. So I love sketches, don't you? Use a sketch any way you like. Twist it, turn it, or leave it as is. Anything goes. So if you want to use a sketch mul on multiple layouts, but you don't want to have the same looking layout, you can turn it around, you can, like, there's four ways you can turn it. So there's four layouts there. You can use it as how it is, you can put it sideways, you can use elements from the sketch, whatever you want. So if you want to make one page with it, that's great. Use it however well as you like. But then if you want to get the most out of the sketch, you can make, I, I guarantee you can make it maybe six pages out of using just one sketch. So anyway, this sketch is from the Victor, it's from the April Lily blog. So each month they release two sketches, I think, and there's, um, it's a by, there's two every month. So I think there's one at the beginning and one at the end or something. I don't know. It's, I'm not really entirely sure, but, um, Victoria Marie designs the sketches and, um, we, me and Christy Harriman, which is my guest for today, so go and check her video out as well, um, chose the sketch that I'll have a photo right after I finish talking like crazy, <laughs> and you'll see it. So, um, yes, so join the Facebook group, uh, check out Chelsea Murray's video, uh, not Chelsea, uh, Christy Harriman, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm filming a lot of these today, so I have a bunch of names here, and I sometimes confuse them. So Christy Harriman, and I'm so excited. Um, I really like her videos, so I'm hoping you stop by over there and see what she came up with. And um, check the April Lily store as well to see if I more sketches and more inspiration and just buy things. So I'm going to let you see my process now. Wow, I've been talking for two and a half minutes. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be quiet now. <laughs> Go watch the video. Okay, so the sketch called for a big strip of paper at the bottom, and I don't really have any 12 by 12 papers at the moment. That um, I have some scraps, but not any patterns that I would like to use on this page um, that big. So anyway, I'm going through my eight and a half, or it's actually A4, I should say, um, papers, and I think that when I say A4, that's the standard size. Um, and I think for um, Europe, like for printer paper and stuff, so I, I'm not sure if it's somewhere between 8.5 by 11 and 9 by 12. So yeah, so I'm just going through and I'm picking any paper that I like and that kind of matches the photo. So I'm mostly going with papers that came from a paper pad from Frankfurt, Germany. And I have no store, I have no, what, I have no store. I have no idea from what store those came from because my mom bought them for me when she went to Germany and she didn't really pay attention to that kind of thing. So, um, I just know they're from Frankfurt, Germany. Okay, so moving on. I placed that green, um, paper and I really liked the triangle thing in the center. I thought that would make a really cool design, but... I wanted to follow the sketch, so I am going to get rid of it. I was trying to think of how I could make it work, but um, I don't know. I was just, I just wanted to make the sketch. So instead, I'm going to use this blue paper as the big bottom layer. And then I'm going to play around with some other options. So I have that pink and white, that white with a pink polka dot. Um, and then I'm going to pull some purple. So I was looking for some like sort of like a bright purple because my sister is wearing this bright 
purple hat that of course I don't have any bright purple so I'm gonna find a couple of purple so this is my these are scraps from 12 by 12 papers so um, that's what that baggy is so I found that but I, I don't know wasn't really I wasn't really liking it so this picture by the way is from oh no I'll tell you later when I add do the journaling and don't have anything else to say so I'm going through that baggy to see if there's any other options and then I went and got this um what is it called this sort of pack of paper, and these are about 8x8, I presume. They look like an 8x8 piece of paper because I thought I could bring in a floral piece because I am wearing a shirt with flowers on it. And, uh, yeah, but that didn't work out. So, so um, I was feeling like I had to get things done. So I was forcing myself to just glue things down and move on and not be too, too indecisive. So this layout actually came along pretty quick. I, I, I think it's also because I had a sketch and I didn't really have to think. So I just enjoyed putting things together. So I might do sketches more often. Maybe I'll do like a series on my channel or something after the July Scrapathon. <laughs> um, but no commitments. I'm not committing to anything, so... Anyway, moving on from that um, tangent there, I use my ATG and I'm just going to glue down this piece of paper because that's the only thing I know for sure I want to go there. And then I am going to uh, fidget a bit more with uh, that purple and some other options. So see, that purple is just off. I It doesn't work. I don't even know why I put it there. And then I thought maybe I could do the polka dot. And then I'm just going to cut into that green because it was just too perfect not to use there. So I'm going to cut it just the tiniest strip as possible so I can still maybe use that uh, piece of paper on another layout. Uh, so yeah, and I just stuck it in behind. So that gives me the second pattern paper. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to add a third. So in the sketch, you'll see a big block of pattern paper, then two small strips, and then one more at the top, which for me is going to be the white cardstock. But I felt that it didn't really need another strip of paper. And sketches are meant to inspire you and um, start something. It's not, you sh they shouldn't restrict you. You shouldn't, they just shouldn't force you to do something you don't want to do. So I I feel I'm I feel okay with just um one strip. And I'm going to now mat my photo. So I want going through this Heidi Swap Mark Hey Love eight and a half by eight and a half inch paper pad. And I thought I thought that the yellow would make a nice addition. So I'm gonna mat my photo on the yellow triangle paper and I strate strategically placed it so that the arrows would the triangles will be looking down and not to the side or up. Oh, well, actually, it could have been. Okay. It would have been okay to look up, but I didn't want them to look to the side because then your eye would go to the side they were pointing at, and I just didn't like that. And then I feel like I need another pop of color, so I'm going to do some mixed media with. Um, it's not really mixed media; it's just watercolor. I'm just adding some watercolor on some packaging and just spreading it, smushing it onto the page. And most of it's going to be at the top in the white cardstock, but I am going to add just a tiny bit. Um, to the pattern paper and then I'm just dabbing it up so it dries faster and just to get some of that excess color that sort of pulls up and doesn't dry until I don't know how long. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out embellishments and now in the sketch there's circles and stars and I'm not going to do that. I'm now going to keep the embellishment clusters in where they meant to be. And there is going to be a circle in two of the places, but it's not going to be a big circle and then a big star, then a little star, and then some like tiny dots. Um, but I did put the name dots and I did add. So, see, I tried to go with like the circle, and then I pull out those donuts, but not gonna happen. <laughs> and now I'm playing with serendipity. These are the serendipity die cuts from Dear Lizzie. And I'm, I'm not sure how old that collection is. I got those the first. The, the second year I started scrapbooking, I had ordered them from somewhere. My mom brought them to me because I hadn't gone to the States that year. But anyway, uh, that's I, I don't think we really care about that. So I went through these Project Life cards because I thought I could cut out some stuff from them. 
Um, and I found that ampersand, which had like these cute florals on it, which pulled the flowers from my shirt. And then it also had the blue and some pink and I just liked how it looked. And there's also some craft there, so that brings this out of neutral color. I like to, I like to have a neutral color, whether it's craft or gray or black or just like maybe just a hint of it. Um, so I rarely use craft though and I really like how it looks on this specific layout. And then I cut out that you and me from the same project life card and put it over there to where the second cluster is going to go. And that project life card is from the Notes and Things Value Pack by Becky Higgins Project Life and Maggie Holmes. So yeah, now I'm going through the die cuts that came in that Project Life Pack and I found that little circle that says love that had some green and uh, craft on it and I'm going to use that in the third cluster. Now the reason why I'm doing all the embellishing and not adding my title is because I didn't remember what that monument was called. So I had to, I was procrastinating from researching it, <laughs> basically. So now I'm going through the desktop chipboard set, uh, chipboard waterfall pack by Project Life. And I tried that tab from Happy Pla from the Happy Place uh, Fancy Pants collection. And um, so this pack has a lot of, it has both pinks and some other colors, but I think the only thing I pulled for this layout was that pink circle. So that circle is going to bring uh, some pink over to that side and it's going to bring, a, basically it's going to bring a circle. So there's actually, there's no stars on the layout, but there's circles and the embellishment clusters are in the same spot. So yeah. Oh, I'm also going to add this circle, which is a sort of half circle, and it's a gold, and I thought the gold looked nice with the craft, and because I also pulled in that, um, there's some gold on that little you and me phrase over there, and then there's also gold on this chipboard piece, and then there's also gold uh, foiling on the uh, die cut piece there, that on the side that I pulled from the Maggie Holmes, from the value pack, the notes and things. And then I'm going to name dots and I thought I could add these stars to bring in that star element, but I didn't like the color and they would, weren't working, so I'm taking them off. And then I am just going to add some enamel dots, but not yet. I will add them though. Okay, so now I'm flipping through this. This is a sticker book from Ikea, by the way, and that's where I got that label circle. And I thought now I'm going to, uh, I could add some uh, tiny word stickers from Tim Holtz. And these are the chit chat stickers. And I'm just going to pick some words. I, I don't even know if they make sense for this layout. I just picked them. Uh, I think the one says discovered. And then the other one says dream, maybe. And then the other one is going to say live. And I'm going to put one of those in each cluster. And that's going to be one of the elements that's in all the clusters. So at the moment, you get the same colors in all the clusters and a tiny word sticker. Okay, so now I'm just gluing down that paper well because if you saw at the beginning, I just put some glue in the center of that paper just in case so I could tuck things at the top and maybe tuck things in um, elsewhere later. And now I'm going to glue down my photo because it's not going to go anywhere. And then I glued everything else down and the reason why I magically turned that layout around is because I didn't I glued everything down and I don't think you would uh, you need to see me gluing things down so I just edit uh, edit it out most of that process. And now I have to finally research what the title is going to be. So I yeah, but before I did that, I got my distress ink and this is in the tumbled um glass color and I'm just going to ink the edges because I didn't want to bring black onto the layout to do a doodly border and I didn't want to do a border in general and I didn't really want to mat it on anything so um, I felt that it needed just a tiny bit of something though so I just inked up the edges with that um, with the ink and I'm going to glue down that word because it wasn't very sticky And now I'm trying to see where I want that third circle to go. And finally I did the research and I discovered that this is called Victor Emmanuel Monument. Monument, remember that. So I started spelling it out and I'm not even, I'm just sticking the stickers on. I was not in the mood to move them around, especially I made a layout 
previously that I think is going to be the day before this one uploaded that I moved the letter stickers around so much I was going to murder someone so for this one I'm just gluing them down and if they don't work out I, I don't care I'm going to ignore it <laughs> I was I was just a bit annoyed so I'm just using a zig two-way glue pen to glue those down because um they tend to not glue down really well so I spell out Victor Emmanuel, and then my uh, original thought was to do monument in like a thicker or a, a different sticker, but I didn't like that, so I'm just going to add monument with these Tim Holtz words again. But as you can see, I am currently spelling mansion. Yeah, I spelled mansion. I do not know why. I seriously have no clue. So I spelled out mansion, and then I felt like that's the, that was the only black on this page. So I'm kind of feeling that I need to bring some black up at the top. So I was I added the year there, but this is going to be in a Rome album. So that whole album is gonna be that one week I was in Rome. So I mean the year didn't really have to be there, um, and I didn't really like it in the end. So I'm going to get rid of it. And now I'm going to do some, no, journaling's not coming yet. So I'm going to add those two enamel dots, and I'm going to, I'm not going to add one at the third cluster, even though I tried again and again. I don't know, it just didn't feel right. I don't, I don't know why, I just didn't really like it. So I'm just going to stick with the two enamel dots at the top. And I'm not sure, I think I've mixed up the packages, so when I, I might take an enamel dot off the one package and put them on the other package because they're the same, very similar colors, the blues, so I'm not sure from which package it came, but it could have, they're, they're Webster's pages, and they either came from the color, oh, what is it called, Dreaming Color, or from the hashtag Happy by Allison Craft. So I did my journaling, I believe, and then I realized that I spelled mansion instead of monument so i'm <laughs> fixing that i i i thank god i saw that and then leave and then leave mansion on there so the journaling was very simple because um i'm gonna do this real story about this on a project life page um all about it but basically the previous like a couple of days before this picture was taken we were going to the roman forum in the Colosseum, and on the way there we saw that and went through it and we got lost on the way to the forum and we didn't know what the heck it was we just happened to go through and then we went home, did some research, and discovered that it was a like a must-see thing. <laughs> so I, it's just I'm not explaining it well. I will uh, explain it in a different video at some day. But um, yeah, we didn't know what it was, and then a the couple of days later, we happened to pass by there, and we just took a picture. <laughs> I do have pictures from the first time around, but and they will be in my uh, album. But yeah. Okay, so then I felt like I needed a bit more inking on the page, so I added some more ink and just made it a bit more distressed, and then I'm adding some splatter. Now, this is where I sort of destroy the layout. So I like the splatter at the top, but at the bottom, because there's not a lot of mixed media, like the internal of packaging te technique, it looked weird. So I dabbed it up, but it still looked weird. And then I just did some more packaging technique, but it was too bright. And then I spread some gesso over it with my finger and it fixed it a bit. And I now looking at it, I'm used to it. But I think I, I might have preferred it if it wasn't there. But anyway, so here are some close-ups. Don't forget to check out my collaborator's video for today, which is Christy Harriman. And don't forget to join the Facebook group and use the hashtag July Scrapathon if you make something and post it on any social media. And don't forget to check out the April Lily store and blog. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.